everybody, I'm Jason, this is Freebird Garage, and we are back, back from a swap meet last week. I went to, pretty stoked, came out pretty well with it, got a good treasure find, a little bit of a gold, in my opinion, that no one knew about. So in Metro Detroit, we have like one good motorcycle swap meet. They're like individual ones you gotta go find personally, but generally for the open public, you just go pay to go get in. Big wide open expo is one in Novi, or we call it Metro Detroit. And there's one that is in like Jackson and San Francisco, so like three total over the year. It's kind of sad here in Michigan, but you gotta take what's good, in my opinion, and find something. You gotta dig through the bins and find what is good. And that's what I did, and I am stoked to show you guys what I found, because I think it's gold. That's what I believe. Well, at least as far as what I looked up. All right, let's dive into it. Let's check it out. A 1989, 92, I don't really know. This is an FLT front fairing. This is the originator of the shark nose that we know today off the road glide. So this front fairing put Harley on the map for touring as far as having the full fairing. Back in 1980, it was of course the shovel head until 84, and then from there it was the Evo. 98, it'd be doned as the road glide, which was also an Evo up until 2000, which then became the twin cam. Now, I don't know beyond that, I don't really know too much about my early tour glides is what they were considered back before they got named the road glide in 1998. But this is a mint condition front fairing and I don't know what year it came from. The guy didn't know, uh, I believe it was just a total bike. During these swap meets, when you go through them, if you've never been to them, they're just boxes of pretty much total bikes. A lot of these people take off parts and they just wanna dump them and get out of there and do whatever they can and get them a good price. And that's what I got. I got a steal on this front fairing. You guys are probably wondering, why? Why would I, why would I want this FLH, FLT Tour Glide front end sitting in my garage? Well, I'll tell you why right now is because of these turn signals. That's why. These turn signals Gold, well, particularly to me, because if you have an FXRT fairing that actually has, well, they all had them, is the turn signals inside of the fairing. If you don't have turn signals in RT, it's an aftermarket. They all came with the slots for these turn signals. The problem when it comes to these turn signals for the FXRTs in particular is that they crack, destroy, they are just, they just get beat up. The mechanism inside that attaches inside the ABS fiberglass, it's ABS, or it's not fiberglass, it's ABS, just has so much vibration that they end up cracking, there's accidents, there's been bikes that have been dropped, and they just end up getting totaled. And if you can get a fairing, which I do have, I'll show you guys a little bit later about where these, how these lights work and all that stuff into it, then they are very important, because otherwise you either have a hole, and if you have a whole complete fairing, which we are rebuilding, is key. And I do not have these lights. These lights are extremely difficult to find in good condition. I've come across plenty that have been beat up, destroyed, cracked, gaskets, all that, and or one side will be good, the other side will be torched. So we have ourselves a lucky candidate for a donor. Turn signals, I'm stoked because I got this for such a good deal. There's no way that any of these turn signals can come up online for the price that I got this entire fairing for. Now, the fairing itself, which is really odd, is that you can't even go on eBay, or you can go on eBay, but there's no one on there that's selling this at a realistic price. There's one that's going for 60, there's one going for 300, and there's one going for 2,500. So I really have no idea what the full fairing is actually worth to sell it. The whole bike itself, I think they usually sell anywhere between 3,000 to 5,000. So I guess if someone really, really wants it, it could be worth a million dollars. You know, I have the holder on these. But mine, my holders, what I'm looking for is the turn signal. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get this all torn apart. I have I haven't looked at any of it. There's some glove box compartments that are in here. I have no idea what was left. I don't think there's much in there, but we're gonna check and we're gonna pull these turn signals out and see if I got completely skunked on this fairing. Hopefully that they're not cracked, because that's the other part. So you can have these. These are right now looking pretty good on the outside. Gaskets looking mint, but the insides need to be pulled apart and see if they have brackets, everything, and see if it's a home run, all right? So let's get this thing flipped around, turn around, and start tearing it apart. All right, I forgot to mention, the other sought after part of this fairing is the windshield. I believe this can be transferred over to my RT, so it's kind of a universal, and because this part right here, the Harley Davidson Tour Glide, is still in good condition, the sticker is in one piece, it'll sell pretty good if I decide to resell it or put it on my bike, so let's get this removed.
some of these screws don't want to come out, so we're gonna see if we can get from the back, get these to hold, it's gonna pry it out. So those screws aren't coming out right now and I don't want to make any more damage than there could already be. So we'll just wait on getting the rest of those pulled out. Let's flip around. Let's get to these turn signals. All right, the inside of the fairing, there ain't much there. Just our two glove boxes. Let's see what was left behind. Um, we have one side, the brackets. Um, Bunch of old zip ties. And another wire break, it looks like of some kind. Ooh, we got some more metal here. Okay. Another bracket of some kind. Oh, we got a tube of something. Man, way down there. <sighs> Maybe some Astro Glide. All right, ooh, some chapstick left behind. Ugh. All right, that's some old chapstick too, so must have dated the bike as well. Okay, so still has the original horns in there and our lights are buried up into here. So let's give it a real trick in getting these out. I'm gonna try to attack this from the front. I thought the rear would have worked. Let's see if this has got anything. Mm. Man, it's got like some kind of aftermarket horn system. And it, unless if that was, eh, there's no way that was original. I don't believe that. That's gotta be aftermarket. That's eh, wild. Let's see what. Like a train horn is in here. All right, well, show, see if I can show you guys. There's a horn connected here to both sides, and I'm sure there's some lines, like an air horn system on this that I don't believe Harley came factory. Maybe it was an aftermarket deal with them or so, but it's in the way of our lights, so. See if we can get this flipped around, maybe get a better shot of getting my hand up in there. Getting this fairing to lay flat on the table with the brackets is not faring well, so we're gonna remove this. So it looks like the horns are going to be in the way, so we're gonna remove these now. some clearance. Okay, start loosening it up from the inside. So I have been trying to get the last bolt here undone and it was virtually impossible to get any type of swivel bolt action into this nut back here. So I'm going to have to actually drill a hole right here to get to this. The turn signals are worth more than the fairing itself, unfortunately, so it is what it is. It's the only way to get to it. I've been trying to fight it every which way. Just gonna have to drill right into it, so. 
Hate to see it go, but it's the only way to get past this. That got a little hairy. Let's see if we can now pop these out. Very carefully. All right. We got one. Two. All right. Bam! Left and right turn signals out with the harnesses. Backings look awesome. Lenses look great, no scratches, clean cut, and this is hard to find parts, especially for the FXRTs. Like, you don't find fairings with the lights in them. They're always separate and they're always a pain to go get. Guys usually put tape over them because they are an arm and a leg to be able to get one of these. One of these alone on eBay last sold, I think in February for 300 or 350 bucks. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see it. There's a lot of value in these, more than what that fairing is, unfortunately. Well, I guess to say, to sell one right, that fairing's probably worth a million dollars and I just destroyed it in front of their eyes. But it's the fiberglass side. I want to practice on fixing some fiber guys, so that may be the right time to test that out and see if we can get those holes back to normal. And if you're going to repaint it on that, that's just another whole deal. So, fairing had to be candlelized for where the real money's at, in my opinion. Now, you can tell me where there's a fairing that you need that's worth way more than these. By all means, let me know and tell me where I messed up. But I'm super stoked on how these came out. Get gaskets and all are going to be awesome. Now, these aren't FXRT gaskets. Those are specialized because the gaskets do not fit against the fairing correctly. They kind of sit up, so you just use a little RTV silicone and it'll sit flat. You don't even notice it. But that's it, guys. That about wraps me on this one. I would greatly appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button, tap that like, press that notification, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. And for those who are subscribed, thank you. As always, stay free. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.